What's good, YouTube? We're talking college sports in the Deep South, where college football is king, and the battle cry on the plains of Auburn is War Eagle. We're here on Vernon Speak Sports Auburn tonight, and my name is Kennard Vernon Stewart. I am your host. That's the Auburn Conversationist, and over here, it's always great to be an Auburn Tiger. War Eagle, big shout out to Chuma Okiki for being picked in the in, in the NBA draft. Huge deal for the Auburn Tigers basketball team who made it to the Final Four. Surprisingly, also Auburn has been very representative in the highest level of competition this year in 2019. All started with a great run at the Music City Bowl. Auburn scoring 56 points in the first half, the best that a bowl team has ever done in history. Final Four appearance for the Auburn men's basketball team, College World Series appearance. Uh, the women also made it to the NCAA tournament. Big shout out to the Auburn Tigers athletic department, War Eagle. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Owen Papo. We we're, we have this series going on to where we're talking about impactful players for the Auburn Tigers and how we feel things will go for the Tigers out of Grayson, Georgia. Owen Papo, one of the best linebackers picked out of the 2019 class definitely a huge get for the Auburn Tigers because a lot of a lot of the power five schools were tugging at the shoulders of Owen Papo including Alabama Florida State among others Georgia exactly matter of fact if you think about proximity wise Athens is not very far from Grayson there are probably a few folks that actually commute from Grayson to Athens for employment purposes if we look at the depth chart right now for Auburn linebackers, you're talking about Zacoby McLean, who will should be taking up that will linebacker position. K.J. Britt, obviously the successor to K.J. Britt. I mean, this. I'm sorry, K.J. Britt, the successor to Deshaun Davis. And then you got Chan, Chandler Wooten, who we thought might have had a injury in the spring game, turned out he should be okay. So that appears to be the starting lineup coming into the 2019 season. K.J. Britt, I feel, pretty much solidifies that Mike linebacker position. They call him downhill Britt. He's, you know, they say he can cover from sideline to sideline. Zacoby McLean, a very good athlete as well. A lot, I just don't understand why they, they discount Michael Harris, though. I think Michael Harris, you know, could be a good linebacker as well. He shows a lot of the athleticism that is needed on the edge but now back to Owen Papo. Owen Papo one of the most celebrated linebackers in the 2019 recruiting class. A very gifted athlete. One thing that I liked about Owen Papo and looking at him on film is that he has a lot of range and that's something that Auburn really needs on the edge is <clears throat> a guy that can not only cover the flat but can also challenge the edge to where you could you could provide that support. Most of the support on the edge here recently for the Auburn Tigers has come from the safety position and or cornerbacks have been asked to do more tackling wise because of the I'm not going to say the lack of athleticism on the linebackers part, but the, the linebackers just did not at times play particularly well. Now, I'll say back in 2018. The best performance that I saw out of all three of the Auburn linebackers was in the LSU game in 2018. Pretty much after that, the linebacker play, the defensive play, kind of sort of tapered off. Because if you look at the Auburn defensive display from the Mississippi State game on to the Alabama game, you're talking about giving up 400 plus yards per game, 28 points per game. Definitely needing some help on the edge. And every now and then, Montavious Atkinson and company, also Deshaun Davis, just couldn't provide that for the Auburn Tigers. But what we want to think going into the 2019 campaign is that there is a solution to this. And Owen Papo could go a long way in providing the solution to Auburn's point of attack tackling they, they're just going to have to have some help on the edge 
You know, as a matter of fact, even in the Mississippi State game, there was one particular play where Montavious Atkinson just got outran to the edge. You know, and that's something that in this day and time, linebacker-wise, just cannot happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially in the SEC, you got to have those elite speedy type linebackers to make these things happen. And, and, and some of the things that we saw in the spring game out of Owen Papo shows that he has a very, very um, uncoachable instinct in finding the football. One th good thing about Owen Papo is it, this was a lot of debate coming into the 2019 season is will as far as, you know, uh, weight wise, would Owen Papo be able to gain enough weight to be a, you know, a serviceable linebacker in the SEC? As it turns out, as of now, as of the latest news media, Owen Papo weighs 222 pounds. And if you talk about, you know, weightlifting over the summer and of course, you know, diet or whatever the case may be, you could be looking at a 230 pound Owen Papo with the same level of speed playing that wheel linebacker position. I think, you know, that will probably be the best position for him on this particular defense. Now look out for it, guys. Owen Papo, although a true freshman, and although Auburn has to, I mean, it's a clean slate linebacker-wise for the Auburn Tigers, but you can best believe, rest assured, that Owen Papo is not only going to get significant amount of playing time, Owen Papo could actually challenge for a starting position. That's the kind of athleticism that we see in Owen Papo out of Grayson, Georgia. Now, one thing I want y'all to look at, like when we talk about recruiting as well, is that the Gwinnett County area in Atlanta is a hotbed for recruiting. Matter of fact, that's where they got Derrick Brown from out of Lanier High School. Owen Papo, you know, really, really is an, is an elite get for the Auburn Tigers. So I think, the, you know, his skill set could immediately transfer over to being a very, very versatile, a very, very viable, serviceable linebacker in the SEC as a true freshman. Make no mistake about it. Now, I think Auburn is going to come into this season with one of the best defensive lines in the country. You're talking about Derrick Brown, Nick Coe, Marlon Davidson. This is going to be a very elite defensive line. Then you counter that with some pretty good cornerbacks. I think Noah Igbenogany will uh, improve tremendously from year one after he transferred over to cornerback from the wide receiver position. Great news that Javaris Davis is going to be taking on that boundary cornerback position and Kristen Tut in the nickel. And then you got, you know, Daniel Thomas and Jeremiah Denson who have definitely have big game experience for the Auburn Tigers. So you look at Owen Papo, one of the most elite athletes in the 2019 recruiting class, went a long way in really, really bolstering the recruiting class ranking for the Auburn Tigers in 2019. You can expect some not only some significant playing time, but very, very high level production from this young man out of Grayson, Georgia. Big shout out to the Grayson, Georgia Rams, a very, very ma good mainstay high school wise in the state of Georgia as far as high school football goes. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart for Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. Let's go ahead and like this video. Comment your opinion about Owen Papo and his significance that he can bring to the Auburn Tigers in 2019. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, which will be very, very soon. It's always great to be an Auburn Tiger here on Vernon Speak Sports. Auburn, the battle cry on the plains is War Eagle.